My name is Paul Gauweiler and I'm a master pastry chef. In Germany, the Baumkuchen is known as the king of cakes. I was born in Hanover, Germany, 1937. My wife and I came to the United States in 1965. And in 1973, I opened this bakery in Huntington Beach, California. I just fell in love with that lifestyle. I think that was a sense of adventure. Today I will show you how to make the famous Baumkuchen cake. It's a very special cake originating in uh, Salzwedel in Germany. It is used for wedding cakes, it is used for stately functions, and uh, it is somewhat uh, not that complicated but not even every pastry maker maybe has a chance to learn it. Baumkuchen means tree cake in German. This cake has many layers, like the cross section of a tree trunk. I got the Baumkuchen machine from the Orange Coast College, the culinary department, and they had it in three years and they didn't know what to do with it and they called me and asked, would you like to have a Baumkuchen machine? And I was like, yes, like a little kid, you know, getting a big Christmas present. The modern machines, which I have never used, but I have seen them on TV, they can do multiple cakes at a time. And also they lower the axle into the batter and it spins, picks up the batter, and then it comes back up. This is a traditional machine that just bakes one on the open flames and it has an electric motor, but it can also be turned by hand if you don't have the motor or electricity. The Baumkuchen we're making today has about 10 rings or 10 layers using a batter that consists of 60 eggs. And if we make a full mix of 90 eggs, then it can have as many as 20, 22 on one axle, and then it's really fat on the bottom and skinny on top. There is an intense flavor created by the uh, multiple layers of baking, which is generated by the many layers of browning. We get orders from all over the country because fresh Baumkuchen is hard to get here. In fact, I don't know any other place in the United States that makes fresh Baumkuchen. I became an apprentice at age 14 when I graduated from uh, elementary school. And uh, the reason I became a pastry maker because my sister worked in the coffee shop. The boss said, well, he can work for me. Apprenticeship places were not so plentiful at the time after the war in around 50, 52. So it was not my first choice, but I've been doing this ever since I'm 14 years old. After it's baked, 
We right away cover it with an apricot glaze to preserve moisture inside and um, has a base for the glaze to follow. Now it must rest overnight and in the morning when I come in, I will put the glaze on it and cut it. Sometimes we get a request for milk chocolate cover. The second one is a fondant glaze. The most popular is semi-sweet chocolate. That's my favorite too. When you cut it in the right way, you see the, the rings. Uh, like a tree trunk and you can really see the rings in this one. And that's how you make a Baumkuchen.